Even all remarks here, back in another video, back again with another Oculus Go video, and Oculus TV has just had an update that allows you to fully use your controllers. So if you have a Bluetooth controller, a Bluetooth Xbox controller, and this one's looking a bit rough, isn't it? Look at that. Ugh. Well loved. Uh, or Bluetooth sort of Android y sort of controller, those sort of things. You can now link them to your Oculus Go, which you've always been able to do with certain apps, and certain apps need Bluetooth controllers to work. But Oculus TV is a standalone app by Oculus which allows you to use side loaded apps. So if you don't know what side loading apps are, it means you basically can add Android TV apps to your Oculus Go that are not natively on your Oculus Go. And use them and the app gives you kind of like a 2d platform sort of a screen to be able to project those apps onto so you can use them uh, usually usually with just your normal pointer they kind of work like Netflix and media apps work really well in there but there are other apps in there that if you had the access to a controller it would half kind of work like a couple of buttons would work but you could never really use it sort of thing but they've now updated the app so you can actually use your controller completely so every button on your controller now works as it should and one of the great things is if you've got steam link and you've got steam on your pc you could link your oculus go and your steam account on your pc so you can play your steam games in your headset so your normal 2d pancake games now work on your oculus go streaming them from your pc how cool is that and you have full control with your controller so you can play whatever you want that's available on steam on this but let's have a quick look how that works Now I'm not going to go through how to sideload apps in this video because that's a bit of a process in its own. So what I will do, I'll link up above here and in the description down below a link to Virtual Reality Oasis's video where he goes through sort of how to sideload apps, how to set it all up, what you need to do on your PC, what you need to do on your headset to make it work. He does a great job of kind of explaining it, so best go there. But my biggest tip when sideloading is to install the ADB Link app on your PC. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Once you set up ADB and all the stuff to be able to sideload apps to your Oculus Go, install this program and then it makes it so much easier. You don't need to kind of mess around with code and typing stuff and file paths or anything like that. Then it's just a case of connecting your Oculus Go to your PC, choosing the file that you want to load, and it loads it straight in, sort of thing. No messing, no faffing, and you can uninstall stuff and install stuff you know, that way, and it's perfect. So I won't go through that, but check that out. Links down below for all those sort of things. So from our homepage, if we go to Oculus TV, this is an app you can just get on the dashboard normally um, and can use, you know, kind of however you wish sort of thing. Most people would use Oculus TV because you get kind of like a little, little living room here uh, to kind of watch media. So it's got all the media apps in here, sort of uh, your Facebook and your Netflix, or whatever. And it's kind of a gateway to kind of media. And that's kind of what it's meant to be, you know, any of those kind of media apps. Uh, but what we've installed here is a is an app called Steam Link. If we click on that, it'll load up Steam Link, and then on your PC you need to do the same. So you need to go to your PC, boot up Steam. I'll try to boot up Stream instead of Steam, and you can sort of see here on the uh, Steam Link app on your Oculus Go, it says Start Playing. So you can click Start Playing, click Continue. And then it'll connect to your laptop or your PC or whatever it is that's on the same Wi-Fi or network connection uh, around your house uh, and link in with it. So we're just waiting for Steam to boot up. You can use any other apps. You don't have to use Steam Link. I'm just using this as an example because I think it kind of opens up so many more apps and games and experiences than what you get with just sideloading other apps. So you can sideload some mobile apps that use the controller, say like GTA or um, I don't know, any other shooters or sort of strategy games that use the controller. If they let you do it, you can sideload it to your Oculus Go, play them in here on a flat sort of screen surface and be able to use it. So here we go. So now I've got Steam big screen on my screen. So on my PC, it's displaying exactly the same thing. And in here, you can sort of see the Latency is pretty good. Well, if you use big screen to sort of stream games and that sort of thing, it can be very laggy um, and almost unplayable. Well, it is technically unplayable, but it's kind of possible. But this is definitely the better way of playing it. So what we can do here, we can go out to our library. We can see all the games we've got downloaded or continue playing games that we've played. And because I don't play as much Steam games as I probably should do, but I have 122 games in here. So anything that supports big screen should work with this. So let's play some uh, some Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive as it was known in the UK. 
So it's just launching the game. So I can see out the corner of my eye, it's got the uh, game running. And then you just wait for them to boot up. So the great thing here is that, you know, your PC or your laptop can be in a completely different room, around your house, and you could be wearing your Oculus Go, carrying around your headset. Uh, whoa, carrying around your controller even, not your headset. Well, and your headset on your head. Uh, let's turn that down a little tad, shall we? Um, you know, if we sat on the loo, you could be in the garden, you could do doing all sorts of what you want to be doing. Let's press start, press any button, um, and you can be playing your Steam games. You could also be playing any other games that you fancy. So as I say, your uh, any sort of Android TV games that work. Primarily anything that works on Android TV setups should work here. One thing you can do is go up to the power settings at the top right hand corner and minimise big picture. Now I'm not going to do it because it actually crashes my Steam Link app on the Oculus Go at the moment because I'm streaming, I'm doing all this sort of stuff, I don't think it likes it. But when I'm not streaming it and when I'm not recording it, it works fine. So you can access your desktop of your PC. So in a sense, you can then connect your controller to your PC and play any games, not just Steam games. So if you've got Fortnite, for example, you could just download that, play that normally. Obviously, you've got to be within kind of reach of your controller sort of thing, but you know, that works as well. You could watch anything that's available on your PC, on your laptop, um, and access all that good stuff as well. So the kind of content available now is pretty much endless. This becomes a, technically a virtual desktop machine now. Brilliant, I can't, I can't, recommend this enough. So there we go, there's how you can play Steam games via the Steam Link app on your Oculus Go. So that opens up a whole new world of opportunities. Games you can play, massive game library, you know, it's technically infinite now. So if it works in big screen, if it works with the controller that links to your headset, you're set, you're ready to go. It is awesome and definitely worth checking out. I'll leave links to these controllers, to the Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth controllers that I use down below. I'll leave links to the app the Steam Link app where you can download it down below. I'll leave links to ADB Link where you can download it. And also Mike's video about how to sideload apps as well. So check all that good stuff out. It'll all be down below. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got any other questions. I'll try and help where I can. Join my Discord at discord.remarcus.com. I'm there all the time. So if you need any help, you've got any questions, join that. I'll help you if I can. I've got three new patrons that I've got to add at the end of my video. So thank you guys. If you want to join my patron, which is patron.com slash Remarkus, donate me just a dollar a month, a couple of dollars, five dollars, whichever. If you donate at least a five a month, I'll put your name at the end of my videos, and you know that show your support for me, and I'll be able to create more of these videos and do less actual real work. Bargain. To give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. That's fine. I'm big enough, nugget enough to take it. If you didn't like it, but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it and try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.